In our previous videos, you may have heard the term two-way and three-way speaker systems and crossovers. These terms play a crucial role when selecting a speaker system for your home entertainment needs. In this video, we are doing a quick primer on speaker configurations and the role of crossovers in speaker systems. Before we learn more, please subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. Now, let's dive in. When discussing speaker configurations, we're talking about the number and type of drivers they incorporate. Drivers are classified according to the frequency range of sounds that they reproduce. Woofers reproduce low frequencies, commonly known as bass. Tweeters reproduce high frequencies, also known as treble. And mid-range, as the name suggests, reproduce mid-frequencies. The most common configurations in home theater speakers are two-way and three-way. A two-way speaker has a woofer and a tweeter, whereas a three-way speaker has woofers, a tweeter and a mid-range driver. The reason that speakers have multiple drivers is so that they perform optimally only within a certain range of frequencies. This increases speaker efficiency and improves sonic reproduction across the frequency spectrum. Low or bass frequencies require the driver to move a lot of air slowly. Hence, low frequency drivers or woofers need to be larger. On the other hand, mid and high frequencies require the driver to move smaller quantities of air that too quickly. So, they require comparatively smaller drivers. So, how are the frequencies separated so that their specific drivers can reproduce them? This is where the crossover comes in. Simply put, a crossover is an electronic filter that separates the frequencies into multiple sections as dictated by the speaker design. The crossover frequency is set by the speaker designer. It is a critical decision especially for multi-driver speaker systems. A two-way speaker only has a single crossover frequency. This is usually around 2500 Hz or 2.5 kHz. Sounds above the selected crossover frequency are sent to the tweeter. Sounds below this frequency are sent to the woofer. A three-way speaker has two different crossover frequencies. The first one is between the woofer and the mid-range driver, usually between 80 and 120 Hz. The other one is between the mid-range driver and the tweeter, usually around 2500 Hz or 2.5 kHz. All the three separated frequency bands are then sent to their respective drivers. Needless to say, a three-way speaker has more parts, thereby more costs and more arising complexities to manage. In principle, a three-way speaker should sound better than a two-way speaker. However, it's a little more tricky than that and we'll touch upon this in a bit. Poorly chosen crossover frequencies or crossover networks made of low quality components are one of the most common reasons that speakers of otherwise high quality don't sound as good as they should. One would naturally assume that a three-way speaker is better than a two-way speaker because it has more drivers. However, the truth is a lot more complex. Sometimes a two-way speaker might sound better than a three-way variant. For example, a two-way model from a flagship series will in most cases sound better than a three-way speaker from an entry-level series even if they are from the same brand. Apart from the crossover, other aspects such as speaker driver materials, enclosure design, cabinet material and tuning also play a key role in the final sound output of the speaker. Speakers are quite complex. Luckily for you, we have done a bunch of videos explaining speakers and other home theatre electronics. We'll link a few important videos in the description for you. We hope you liked this video. Which topic would you like us to do next? Use the comment section below to share your suggestions. Thank you for watching.